Welcome to The Road to Brazil, presented by Castrol. I'm your host, Alan Hopkins. After a disappointing defeat in Kingston versus Jamaica, the U.S. team returned stateside knowing that a victory would see them reclaim the top spot in Group A. And after three matches, here are the current Group A standings. By virtue of their first ever victory against the U.S., Jamaica sits on top of the group with seven points. Guatemala and the U.S. are tied for second. Antigua and Barbuda rounds out the Group A standings. Despite the setback in Jamaica, the players are ready for their own home field advantage as they have yet to lose a World Cup qualifier at Crew Stadium in Columbus, Ohio, where a sellout crowd is expected on 9-11. Us playing on that day and the crowd um, understanding what, what it means and, and, and them screaming and supporting us is, is obviously um, what USA is all about, that, that pride and um, just supporting one another. I think uh, that 12th man will be, will be the crowd tomorrow night. You have to look at it as a must win because, you know, we got three games left and that, in, and that includes the game tomorrow. So we need to make sure that we're getting as many points as possible and making sure we put ourselves in a position to, you know, advance out of the group. It's good that we get to play them so, so soon after, um, you know, the, the last result we had because it leaves a bad taste in our mouth and we want to correct you know, the errors on that night and, and make sure that we get the job done and show what we're capable of. The fact that we lost the first game, it's now a chance for us to, obviously they're two different games, but it's a chance for us to kind of put things right. You know, we weren't pleased with the way the first game went and, and our own performance. So now we have a chance on our own, you know, on our, on our home turf to, to get three points, which is going to be crucial for us, especially at this stage and the way things have played out so far. Columbus has always been good to us, so um, we don't expect it to be any different. We expect the crowd to come out and, and support us where they always have, and we're very grateful for that. Um, and that we need to go out there and reward them for, um, you know, for, for getting behind us. And we want to make sure that we take advantage of this uh, big opportunity that we have, um, you know, by getting the right points that we need. And, and if we do so, we, I think we put ourselves in a, in a good position. The fans in Columbus indeed showed their massive support as a sold-out crew stadium acted as a 12th man on 9-11. The men's national team was focused and sharp and started the match very well dominating possession. But unfortunately, they hit the woodwork. Not once, not twice, but three separate times to come away empty and entered halftime scoreless. After the break, it took only 10 minutes for the team to give Jamaica a taste of their own medicine as Hercules Gomez scored on a beautiful free kick of his own for a second World Cup qualifier goal this phase, giving the hosts a 1-0 lead. The U.S. were able to maintain their advantage and held on for a 1-0 win in Columbus. Well, it's big now. Um, you know, they, they have to play Guatemala next, and uh, you know, we're hoping they can kind of knock the stuff out of each other, and, and if we get three points, um, then we can top the group, you know, so... It's important for us to bounce back. You know, we didn't we didn't like losing. We didn't think we we should have lost, but we didn't play well down there. And I think we set the record straight tonight. You know, it was one nothing, but uh, it was a dominant performance. Well, I think the service allowed us to play a better style. Uh, I thought we showed our quality. I thought we made it difficult for them. We made the ball do the work. Um, I think we they, we frustrated them with with keeping possession. Um, we created a lot of chances. Should have scored maybe one or two going into half. Uh, but you know, if we kept going, uh, eventually we come. And we got a little bit of luck on the goal. Maybe the keeper could have done better, but it was a great, you know, you know free kick by Herc. And you know, we, most importantly, we got the goal, and, and also we got the clean sheet. So uh, we're happy with three points. We're relieved, but you know, the work's not done yet. We still got two games, and um, we need to make sure we uh, do well in those so we can advance to the next round. And now let's take a look at the current Group A standings, with only two games remaining. After the September 11th matches, there is a log jam atop of Group A. Guatemala, who won 1-0 at Antigua and Barbuda, United States and Jamaica are all tied with seven points apiece, with Antigua still rounding out the bottom of the group. The U.S. is feeling confident ahead of their final two matches in group play as they head to Antigua and Barbuda on October 12th. And you can catch that match on Be In Sport beginning at 7 p.m. Eastern Time all before their final home match of 2012 in Kansas City versus Guatemala on October 16th. 
That match can be seen on ESPN2, ESPN3, and Univision Family starting at 6 p.m. Central Time. And remember, for that game in Kansas City, tweet at CastrolUSA and include the hashtag CastrolTix before October 9th for your chance to win tickets for the Men's World Cup qualifier against Guatemala on October 16th. It was an amazing night for the U.S. men's national team as we remain unbeaten at Crew Stadium in Columbus, Ohio in World Cup qualifying. And that'll do it for this episode of The Road to Brazil, presented by Castrol. I've been your host, Alan Hopkins. We'll see you in October. <laughs>